Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a video about makeup, obviously. I think I'm gonna try to make a model makeup look. It's more like a light, neutral makeup look. But it's kind of like glowy. I don't know how they make the glow. Maybe because they already are pretty, like 90% pretty, but they use tons of makeup. On Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, they put tons of makeup. Right now, I'm trying to mimic that without having too much product on my face, like over trying it, over doing it. I want to have like a neutral, glowy, holy, angelic makeup look, but, but I just don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, okay? First thing first is my vitamin C. Where the hell is my vitamin C? It's gone. It was just here, but now it's gone. Oh. Got it. My vitamin C, it's Bion C. It's an anti-aging serum. I put like two pumps and just do this and put it all over my face. I learned it from Charlotte Tilbury. She always do this under the eyes to kind of like reduce puffiness. And I always do this. It's just really nice when you do this. It makes the serum goes in, pull your face up so it doesn't wrinkle, so it's like firm. The thing that I learned from Khloe Kardashian and Courtney, they use their serum on their neck but with upward motion like that. And I also put my serum on my hand because I also don't want my hand to wrinkle so I think this is the best thing to do. Next thing is foundation. I don't want to put a lot of foundation. I have a little bit of a breakouts here and there because I was going to a vacation in Bali with my family and it always happened. I'm going to put a foundation not everywhere, just like under my eyes, on the T-zone and that's it. I don't want to put tons of makeup today. It's just not good for it that situation and also my skin is kind of like healing off i don't know why maybe it's just the weather and you know global warming is just crazy i don't really want to put any concealer because i wanted to make it as natural as possible bronzer i'm using this mark jacobs omega bronzer the color is 104 fantastic I wanted to buy like a more darker color but they still don't have it in my area I need to cut that jaw because I have like a square base all you want to do is just cut it there I want to tell you something I was filming another video actually not another video I, I was filming actually this video but the lighting was off. I don't really have like a studio light. Uh, I only have like a makeup artist light when you take a picture of your uh, customer and stuff. So I started again. <laughs> now I'm using like the natural sunlight, you know? I'm putting it a little bit on the eye to bronze it up a little. I wanted to do this video actually because I saw lots of beautiful models and having a beautiful face on makeup and having a beautiful skin. I don't know, it's just crazy. Like, someone like Alessandra embrace you. She have two kids already and she look like 20. And I want to be like that. <laughs> you wish. Oh my god, I'm hungry. And then put a little bit of blush. I'm going to be using the Master of Flash Creator from Maybelline in New York just to brighten up my face I put blush everywhere and then on top of that blush I'm putting on Cindy Luminizer from The Balm because it has shimmery and glittery inside it's really good for this look you want to have lots of shimmer lots and lots of shimmer so you're like glowing after that I'm going to put a little bit of a darker bronzer on the outer corner of my eyes so like 
having that kind of like a smoky bronzy eyes just like a little bit not that much so it kind of mimicking a wing eyeliner so as you can see you can see that wing already but I don't want to overdo it because I just wanted to make it super simple super natural angelic look like me becoming angelic now <laughs> I'm not going to do anything with my brows I'm just going to brush it up actually when you have like a darker eyes you want your brows to be lighter and if you have like a lighter eye color you want your brow to be darker so it has like that contrast but I don't really have a lighter um, gel brow right now so I'm gonna work with what I have so I'm just using my um, last sensational uh, mascara <laughs> For my brow, okay, I know that's bad and this is black So it's not a really good contrast color, but this is what I have I'm just going to put it on like that just like a little bit, not too much I just wanted to brush it up and make it like stay bushy all day So I'm going to curl my lashes with a MAC curler and then I'm gonna be putting on mascara from Marc Jacobs it's the Velvet Noir Mascara it's this one, the travel size one I'm not gonna be using any fake lashes because I want it to be as natural as possible and then I put it on the last sensational from Maybelline again on top of that because this one is waterproof oh shit I messed up it's fine it's fine next thing is I just wanted to spray my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Face Plus just a little bit I'm going to put a lipstick the Maybelline Matte Ink I'm going to put that on this is like a really really great lipstick I loved it so much I can't speak and I'm going to add a little bit of a gloss from Marc Jacobs this is the cream and sugar they are in uh, trouble size so if you want to try it you can without wasting your money so you buy the trouble size true that's really true the next last step okay i'm going to put this becca shimmering skin perfection spotlight this one is more like a shimmery um neutral shimmer highlighter i don't want to put too much because i know my skin it's going to be like this by itself in a couple hours so I'm just going to put it over there which is a safe place and if you have like a dry skin you can use it over there and on your forehead and there and this area I don't want to put it on this area because I don't want to show my uh, breakouts I guess this is it this is more like an everyday but like more of an angelic I don't know I don't know if it's like an angelic look but I like this look I like it and I hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe me and oh yeah I need your help about a foundation I really really want to buy a new foundation I just don't know which one I have to buy so if you guys have a favorite foundation that I can try leave a comment down below and i'll make sure i'll try it i'll see you next time bye